With the COVID-19 pandemic unfolding in ways that we really can't predict, with the gyration of the equity markets and declining interest rates, which may be going to negative interest rates as they're already at zero in the United States and close to zero here in Canada, we are making the unprecedented move for the first time in recommending that our clients start to begin moving their portfolio into Government of Canada Treasury bills. Now, to be certain, we are not looking for our clients to allocate 100% or even close to 100% of their portfolio into Canada Treasury bills. I think that would be a, a far too aggressive approach. But the reason we're specifically recommending Government of Canada Treasury bills is because the Government of Canada is the lender and the Bank of Canada is the lender of last resort. These are the only securities that one can refer to in Canada as being risk-free. If you hold your money with the government of Canada through a treasury bill and they can't fulfill their obligations of paying you back, they can simply print the money. And there's not one other institution in the country that can do that. There are other AAA rated entities such as the province of BC, Export Development Corp, Farm Credit Canada, uh, MFA BC, right here in Vancouver, all have AAA credit ratings, but they cannot print the money. Now, why are we doing this? One of the questions I got asked earlier today from one of my clients was, do I think that the banks and the credit unions are not gonna be able to fulfill their obligations of repaying their clients money when maturities come due? I said, absolutely not. That's not my expectation at all. In fact, the balance sheets of these financial institutions are very strong. The regulators, uh, for better or for worse, have ensured that these balance sheets are extremely strong, not obviously anticipating this kind of event. But of course, we don't go and buy life insurance expecting ourselves to die. And if I use that as an analogy and to translate that, transpose that over into this strategy, we're recommending our clients take 10 to 20% of their portfolio, invest it into short-term 30, 60, 90 day T-bills, rolling them on a monthly basis and buying themselves say six months worth of of breathing room. Buy yourself in six months of, of room to know that that money is there for you. It's the most liquid and zero risk security you can buy in Canada today. And the financial impact on your overall investment portfolio is gonna be nominal. But the peace of mind of knowing you have the most secure investment in your portfolio that represents 10 to 20% is a, a nice peace of mind to have. It's an insurance policy. Because we don't know what the future is gonna hold. It could get much worse. And here's the thing, you're going to have still another 90 to 80 to 90% of your portfolio and your regular investment portfolio of banks and credit unions and money market funds and, tre and other types of uh, treasury or money market instruments that are going to get you the decent returns that you're looking for. If you'd like more information on how we can help you out with this or details, please give our team a call. We'd be happy to discuss. It is tough times right now. We're here to give you advice on this and help you get through this tough patch as we come out, out of this on the other end, somewhere along the way. And hopefully this insurance policy that I'm effectively proposing of buying these Canada Treasury bills will be something you'll never actually really need. And in three to six months, we can unwind those positions, we can let them mature and reinvest them back into the regular market. Thank you very much.